Hello, welcome to Rigenix. In this video, we will continue our discussion on C-Sharp Abstract Keyword. I have already discussed about Abstract class in my previous video and this is a continuation to that video. So if you have not watched that video, then I strongly recommend you to watch that video first before watching this. In last session, we answered our first question and in this video, we will learn about Abstract method and answer the second question. Abstract method must be implemented by derived class. Is this just a reminder to derived class or something else is there? Let's define abstract method first. An abstract method is a method that is declared but contains no implementation. It means it just has the method signature, as you can see here. But why do we want to have a method that has no implementation? If it is a matter of allowing it to be overridden, then we can even declare the method in the base class as virtual, right? Let's quickly see the difference between abstract method and virtual method. As mentioned earlier, abstract method does not have any implementation in the base class. It contains only method signature. However, virtual method contains the default implementation of the method in the base class. Abstract method can be defined only in abstract class. However, virtual method can be declared both in abstract class as well as concrete class. Abstract method must be overridden in the derived class. However, since the virtual method has default implementation, it is not mandatory to overwrite it. Let's flip to Visual Studio and write some code to understand this better. Let's assume that you have to design a program of printing something using different types of printer. Now, if you have to write a program for different types of printer, then what should be one mandatory method? Yes, definitely print. It means your design says that whatever type of printer class you have, you must have a print method in it. So you can create an abstract method in your base abstract class to enforce all derived class to have a print method in it. Let's see this. Let's create our base class. Now let's assume right now you just have HP printer. So let's inherit abstract class and implement the abstract method. Now since we have a abstract method here, we must override this method. Now this is perfectly fine. Say later there is one more printer, say Toshiba. Some other developer has to implement this class. Let's create the class. Let's implement our base class. But now say, the new developer doesn't want to write the print method here. Instead, he wants to write it in a separate class. Can he do this with this design? No, because you as a designer of this application wanted to maintain certain uniformity across all printers. Hence, your design enforces the derived class to implement the abstract method print in the same class where the print base has been inherited. Let's build this without overriding print method. It gives an compile time error. Toshiba does not implement inherited abstract member print base dot print. It means you must implement. Let's implement and recompile. Let's build this. Looks all okay. Now let's answer the question that we had in the beginning. Abstract method must be implemented by derived class. Is this just a reminder to derived class or something else is there? Yes, it is a reminder. Basically, the design forces the client to implement the method as without that implementation, inheriting the given abstract class might be meaningless. I hope this helps you to rethink through how you design your application and enforce the implementation of certain methods in derived class. I hope you found this video helpful. If it did, then please hit like and subscribe button to see more such contents. Thanks.